Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to talk about RAM, ROM and internal storage on your phone. Specifically I'll be talking about Android phones but some of the parts will be applicable to generally all smartphones. Uh, first let me talk about ROM. ROM is a part of your phone on which actually your OS uh, resides. Uh, for example, the Android OS will reside in this uh, ROM area and generally uh, you cannot access this part of the area of the phone directly. But again, let's say your phone is currently running on Android version 4, that's the ICS and you get an update to let's say 4.1, that's Jelly Bean. This part of the phone will get accessed by the updater and will update it to the 4.1 Jelly Bean. So your uh, operating system, that's the firmware, will reside in this ROM area. Generally, many of the manufacturers do not list the amount of ROM that is available on the phone. So again, just don't uh, worry too much about ROM. And uh, the next important thing that you need to look at is the amount of RAM that your phone has. Again, some people think that uh, you can upgrade the RAM. That is not possible. For example, let's say your phone has 512 MB of RAM. You cannot upgrade it to 1 GB, 2 GB or whatever. Some people think that by adding a micro SD card, you expand the RAM. That's totally different. I'll talk about in, uh, the storage a little bit later. But uh, again, RAM, let's come back to RAM. And let's say this is the Galaxy Nexus I have. This has 1 GB of RAM. Again, some people think that, and I generally get this email every two, three days. Ranjit, I bought this new phone and the technical specs say that it has 1 GB of RAM. But when I look at a task manager or something, it just shows me about 600 MB. Am I being cheated? No, the thing is that your phone does have 1 GB of physical RAM. But at any given moment, you, you won't find that the entire RAM is available. Do note that your phone runs on the Android operating system and that operating system has to be also loaded in the RAM and that takes a good amount of space. Hence, for example, uh, on this Nexus phone, generally uh, you get the free RAM is about 600 to 650. I've seen on other phones, it might be a little bit lower because of the UI skins like TouchWiz, etc. So again, uh, don't get alarmed if you buy a new Android phone and it says 1 GB of RAM, you just get about, let's say 550 or 600 MB. That's perfectly fine. Again, one more, that brings me to one more point is that I would not recommend you go ahead and buy an Android phone which has less than 512 MB of RAM because I have reviewed a lot of Android phones and I've seen with phones having 512 MB of RAM, the free RAM that is actually available for your app is generally around 200 or 220 MB. That's okay. And I have seen some of these budget oriented phones these days that come with just 256 MB of RAM. And in those phones, the free available RAM is really low. It's just around 30 to 40 MB and that can cause problems. So uh, thumb rule is that uh, higher the RAM is better because you can easily do multitasking. Uh, minimum, I would say, go with 512 MB of RAM. Higher the better. Uh, these days with the high-end phones like the Note 2, they have about 2 GB of RAM. And most of the high-end phones are coming with 1 GB of RAM. So that's the RAM. Now let's move to the next part. That is the actual storage available to you as the user. Again, in many of these Android phones, this is divided into two parts. That is internal storage and phone storage. And I would say pay particular attention to the internal storage because this is the area where the apps will be what you say stored. For example, let's say if your phone has very limited internal storage and I've seen this with some budget oriented phones that have just 150 MB or so of internal storage. So uh, it will be severely lacking. You cannot install a lot of apps. You might be just able to install six, seven apps and then your internal storage is full. Again, yes, I know that some phones uh, have a micro SD card slot and you can add a micro SD card slot and expand the storage. But do note that not all Android apps will run on uh, external storage like SD. Many of the core apps need to be decided on the internal storage. So when you're buying a new uh, Android phone or something like that, pay attention to the amount of internal storage that is given. I would say 512 MB or so is good enough for an entry level uh, user. But if you are a heavy user and likes to, uh, who likes to install a lot of apps, etc., 1 GB, even 2 GB of internal storage might be ideal. For example, in Nexus uh, phones generally, the entire storage, for example, the one I have has 16 GB of uh, storage. Out of that, I think so we get about 12 GB of storage that is available. And you can use that entire 12 GB as internal storage, does not divide it. But in many of the other phones, uh, they divide the storage into two parts. That's the internal and the phone storage. In phone storage, you will install what say your music, videos, etc. But again, remember internal storage is really important because all your apps 
will be installed on this again uh, as i said some of the phones do support micro sd card and you can use apps like apps to sd to move some of the apps from the internal storage to the micro uh, sd again uh, not all apps can be moved as i said earlier so these are some of the things that you need to keep in mind regarding the ram rom and the storage actually on your phone i hope the info that i provided in this video is helpful if you found it uh, helpful i'll appreciate it if you click uh, can click on the like button and also do share your comments in the comment section below if you would like that i talk about some other topics please uh, post them uh, in the comment section i'll have a look and i'll see if i can make videos about the same that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and i hope to see you in my next video